In English, you use should have, could have, or would have to talk about something that didn't happen in the past to maybe express regret or other feelings. But in Chinese, we don't have tenses to express information that is contrary to reality. So how exactly do we do that? In this video, you will learn how to express should have, could have, and would have in Chinese. Hello, 大家好 I'm Grace from Grace Mandarin Chinese. In this video, you will learn how to use Chinese to express regret, criticize others for something they did or didn't do, and talk about possibilities in the past, which is something that could have or would have happened but didn't. Before learning the sentence patterns and expressions, we need to first note that. Since Chinese doesn't have tenses to help express counterfactual information, we often understand this layer of meaning by context. For example, if you say 我应该跟你去, 我应该跟你去, without any context, people would normally interpret the meaning as I should go with you. But if the context is like this, 我昨天去的那家餐厅又好吃又便宜。真的吗? 我应该跟你去,好可惜。Here, because of the context, we know she's talking about a past event, so the listener can interpret this sentence as I should have come with you. So remember, we can express counterfactual information just by context. However, sometimes contexts are unclear, so in order to let others know we are talking about counterfactual information, often we will use hypothetical conjunctions like 如果 or 要是 with time words like 昨天, 去年, or 上礼拜 or adverbs like 真, 本来, or 原本 or sentence final particles like 的 or 了 to help listeners to understand. So now let's learn more about them. Let's start with expressing regret in Chinese. In English, you can use should have to express regret for something you did or didn't do in the past. Now let's take a look at how to express it in Chinese. To say, I should have gone to the concert with you, you can say, 我应该跟你一起去演唱会的。我应该跟你一起去演唱会的 In Chinese, to say I should have done something, we often say 我应该 do something 的 我应该的 This 的 at the end is to add a tone of certainty to the sentence because when we look back to our past, we often become certain about what the best choice was for us. However, if the context is clear enough, is optional. Here is another example. To say, I should have told you earlier, you can say, 我应该早一点告诉你的. 我应该早一点告诉你的. Here, 早一点 is a common phrase meaning earlier or sooner. Often, it be shortened into 早点. 早点. So you can say, 我应该早点告诉你的。我应该早点告诉你的。这饼干真好吃。啊,那是我家狗狗的饼干。我应该早点告诉你的。Remember this pattern. 我应该早点do something. 我应该早点的 means I should have done something earlier. You can also add an adverb 真 before 应该 to strengthen the tone of regret. So you can say 我真应该早点告诉你的 我真应该早点告诉你的 Another commonly used phrase to express regret in Chinese is 早知道, 早知道. 
It expresses the meaning of "if I had known," and is usually used in an informal setting and expresses a strong feeling of regret. For example, 早知道他们要来，我就多买点食物了。早知道他们要来，我就多买点食物了。If I had known they were coming, I would have bought more food. Often, you can just say, 早知道我就早知道我就 to express I should have. For example, 早知道我就听你的话了早知道我就听你的话了 I should have listened to you. Often, the 话 would be dropped. We would say. 早知道我就听你的了。早知道我就听你的了。You can also drop the subject 我 and say 早知道就听你的了。早知道就听你的了。To negate the sentence, you can say 早知道就不听你的了。早知道就不听你的了。I shouldn't have listened to you. Add the negation word before the verb. 去洗碗啦！不要，你去洗。不然我们来猜拳，输的去洗。好啊，来呀、啊！他会出石头，他会出石头。OK OK。剪刀石头布。早知道我就不听他的了。Now let's learn how to criticize others for something they did or didn't do in Chinese. Remember, we can say 我应该 do something 的 to express I should have. Now we just need to change the subject of the sentence to 你 or 他 or even a person's name 小宁 Let's see an example. To say you should have been nicer to him, you can say 你应该对他好一点的。你应该对他好一点的。Another example. 他应该早点道歉的。他应该早点道歉的。He should have apologized sooner. Before we move on, I wanted to quickly mention that the Chinese learning platform YoYo Yo Chinese is currently on sale for Chinese New Year from today to January twenty eighth. It's an incredible opportunity to invest in yourself and improve your language skills. If you want to build a solid foundation for your Chinese. Taking a structured course can help you achieve that, and also help you build the strong framework you need to succeed in learning Chinese. So far, the best structured online course I know of is YoYo Yo Chinese. With over 10 years of experience and six structured course featuring over a thousand video lessons and over 10,000 handwritten quiz questions, YoYo Yo Chinese will not only help you establish that solid foundation. But will give you an easy to follow path all the way to mastery. To celebrate Chinese New Year, they are now offering a big sale. If you use my link in the description to purchase their lifetime learner plan, you will not only save a hundred dollars on access to all six structured courses, but you will also get all seventy grammar lessons and sixty learning tips lessons completely for free. The sale ends soon, so don't miss out on this great deal. Now let's learn how to talk about past possibilities. When you want to express that something could have happened but it didn't, in Chinese there are two adverbs often used: 本来本来 and 原本原本 Both of them mean originally. They are often used with 可以可以 or 能 Nung. So the sentence pattern is subject plus 本来 or 原本 plus 可以 or 能 For example, 我本来可以早点走的，但我决定留下来帮忙。我本来可以早点走的，但我决定留下来帮忙。I could have left earlier. 
but I chose to stay and help. 本来 can also be placed before the subject, so you can say, 本来我可以早点走的，但我决定留下来帮忙。Another example, 他原本能跟我们一起去日本的，但他老板不准他请假。他原本能跟我们一起去日本的，但他老板不准他请假。She could have gone to Japan with us, but her boss didn't allow her to take leave. Here is the saying: 原本 can also be placed before the subject, so you can say. 原本他能跟我们一起去日本的，但他老板不准他请假。If you'd like to express that you wanted to do something but didn't, you can use this phrase: 本来 or 原本 plus 想。本来 or 原本 plus 想。For instance, 哎，你不是说上周要跟我们见面？哦、oh, ，对，我原本想跟你们见面的，但我上周真的太忙了。Huh? If you want to express that had things been different in the past, there would have been a different result. You can use this sentence pattern: 如果 or 要是 plus 当时 or 那时候 and then subject plus 就 we use the hypothetical conjunction 如果 or 要是 with the past time word 当时 or 那时候 to talk about a hypothetical situation in the past and an imagined result. For example. 如果当时我有更多钱，我就会买那辆车。If I had had more money, I would have bought that car. So you didn't actually buy the car; it's just an imagined result. Another example: 要是那时候他更认真念书，他就能考上那间大学了。要是那时候他更认真念书，他就能考上那间大学了。If he had studied harder, he could have gotten into that college. Here, it's the same. We use 要是 and 那时候 to talk about a hypothetical situation in the past and an imagined result. All right, so now you have learned many ways to talk about hypothetical scenarios in the past. Here is the concept I want you to take away from today's lesson. In Chinese, we don't have tenses like in English to help express counterfactual information. Like you can use should have, could have, or would have to talk about past events that didn't actually happen. So since we don't have tenses, the way we do it is by using hypothetical conjunctions, time words, adverbs, or sentence final particles to help convey this. If the context is clear enough, we don't even need these elements. Okay, that's all for today. 如果你喜欢今天的影片，别忘记按赞、订阅和分享哦。And also, if you'd like to learn some daily Mandarin expressions, check out my Instagram, Grace Mandarin. 那我们就下次见喽，拜拜。